a long time ago, about some time after Ruth and Naomi, there lived a boy named David. Hi there, I'm David. David was the great grandson of Ruth and Boaz, and he lived in Israel with his brothers. That's us. Now David and his brothers spent most of their time outside taking care of their herds of sheep. But sometimes David's brothers would pick on him because he was the youngest. Hey, look, it's our little brother. That's how things pretty much were for David. But then, one day, their dad Jesse came out with some horrible news. Boys, I got horrible news. They Philistines are attacking. Now you might be wondering, who are the Philistines? Well, the Philistines were people who hated Israel. They wanted to take Israel's land and make the Israelites their slaves. But Jesse also told his boys, But don't worry, King Saul is putting together an army to stop them, and he needs you. You free must help save Israel. But David was excluded, because everybody thought he was too small. By the time David's brothers got to King Saul's camp, the Philistines were yelling at the Israelites. But then, the Philistines made a deal with them. They said that each army would bring out their strongest men, and whichever champion defeated one champion of an army, they would be their slaves. Well, the Israelites were tired of yelling, and the Philistines did seem a little on the small side, so King Saul agreed. So the Philistines brought out their bravest soldier, Goliath. But to the Israelites and your surprise, Goliath was a big, big giant. Oh, well, I fight. The Israelites were so scared of Goliath, they all ran away and hid. Uh, no one will fight. I will come back tomorrow. And that's just what he did. Goliath came back the next day, and the next day, and the next day for 40 days. But every time he did, the Israelites ran away and hid. Soon, Jesse started to worry about his boys, so he sent David there with some food for them. Now David got to King Saul's camp when Goliath came out. And when David saw Goliath, he asked who was going to fight him. Don't look at us. We're not gonna fight him. Well, David decided that something must be done, so he went straight to King Saul and said, I don't fight Goliath. King Saul said, You fight Goliath? Well, that's kind of you, but you're too small to fight Goliath. That may be true, King Saul, but God will help me defeat him. But King Saul still thought that David should look tough, so he dressed David in his armor. But David only said, I don't think I really need this armor. It's too heavy. Later that day, David went down to a stream and found five smooth stones. Then he picked up one of them and went back to camp to fight Goliath. Who will fight me? I will fight you, Goliath. Which one of you said that? I did, down here. Oh, you think a little kid like you can defeat me? I will squash you. You will not squash me, Goliath. The God of Israel will help me defeat you. We'll see about that. Now we fight. And then Goliath got out his spear, while David got out his stone and a slingshot. And then David put the stone in the slingshot, and he swung with all his might. Until finally, he let it go, and the stone hit Goliath on his head, and the giant fell down to his death. Everyone cheered for David, and the Philistines were so scared of him that they all ran away and hid, and Israel was saved. But this isn't quite the end of our story yet, because a lot more things happen to David next. But that'll have to wait until next time. Until then, kids, remember, with God's help,